Hey guys, how's it going? Matt here from Matt Productions, and today I have a really nice intro for you. Um, it uses some dot fades, some gradient movement, and uh, even some 3D effect. So uh, here it is, check it out. I'm not gonna lie, that was awesome. So uh, for this tutorial, I'm actually gonna do something a little different because um, I tried recording this like five other times and uh, it was just probably too long or something to save and it didn't really save. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you what I've already done instead of making it right here. So uh, hopefully you get the idea. So what I did is I just added a little media generators, uh, uh, the solid color white and I just added like a little two second thing here to uh, fade it on crossfade over these media generator checkerboard small tiled checkerboards which if we go into generated media first keyframe horizontal um, is uh, 0.55 last keyframe is one and so you have to make this keyframe first this keyframe second and then add this keyframe at like somewhere around this second dash or the second to last dash and um that's important because we want to set this last keyframe to white, but we don't want anything in here to be to be like a grayish color. So what this does is is it makes sure makes sure that everything in here is black and then it fades to white in this region here. So then I added an uh, effect. I added a newsprint effect, um, a color newsprint effect. You can also add offset color if you want. Um, so uh, a color. And uh, I made the first keyframe 20.2960 uh, and the last keyframe 0.4140. And then I went to uh, Event Pan Crop. First keyframe is, well, it looks like that. <laughs> last keyframe, it's over here. So you get the general idea. And then I went to Media Generators, went to uh, Color Gradient, added an, added an elliptical transparent to black. And, um,. What I did here was I dragged the two out to the corner, dragged the one out a little bit, made the two's alpha channel or alpha um thing at 36.84% and I also made it white. And I made sure that this one this one's alpha was at 0 so it wouldn't show up at all. And um what that's going to do is as it's uh, playing it's just going to make you focus more on the uh, outer uh, or the <laughs> inside rather. Um which is kind of what I was going for. So um, what it does is it, it fades off like that. Um, and then what we want is to add this map productions. So um, in here what I did was I added map productions, it sends a uh, text font, and I drew a shadow. On the first keyframe, the shadow was feathered at 300. The X and Y offset were both zero. Um, and then I feathered the shadow out to 100 at this last keyframe. Back to the first keyframe, I added a uh, draw outline, a white outline, and I feathered it uh, 0.5, and the width was 0.209, and uh, this last keyframe, everything stayed the same. And uh, so I, ad I added another elliptical transparent to, bl to black above the map productions, and what I did was I made this first keyframe, um, I dragged the crosshairs that'll be right here down to the bottom middle and uh, that's at x is 0.5 y is uh, 0.1 or not 0.1 y is actually just 1 um, and uh, <clears throat> excuse me and then I added another keyframe two dashes in remember those dashes from before there's a uh, one here 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 all the way at the end to the end and then I made another keyframe and I just kind of dragged the two down so that um, what it does is it it gives like the impression that there's a glow on on the map productions. Like you can kind of see like the uh, the white was going up and down, even though it was a little choppy. The white was going up and down, and um, so these whoops these keyframes afterwards where was it? oh wait it was here 
these keyframes, what I did was I copied this first keyframe, skipped this keyframe, pasted it here, skipped this keyframe, and pasted it here. So I'm skipping a keyframe, paste, skip a keyframe, paste. Then I did the same for the second keyframe. Copy this, skip a keyframe, paste, skip a keyframe, paste. And I made those smooth, smooth keyframes. Then I added another elliptical transparent to black above that, just a little shorter in time than uh, all these. Um, what I did here was I dragged the crosshairs up about two-thirds of the way to the top. And uh, this first keyframe, I dragged the one out a little bit, two all the way down, or almost all the way down to this corner. Made sure the one's gradient, or uh, alpha, was at zero. Made the two's alpha somewhere just a little bit under the uh, uh, halfway mark. And I made sure two was at, set to black. And um, second keyframe, I dragged two down a little bit and one down a little bit. And then I did the same thing as before. Copied this first one, skip, paste, skip, paste. Copy the second keyframe, skip, paste, skip, paste. Got it? So, um, and then I added this white background because if I didn't have, whoa, everything I forgot was, um, grouped together. So, let me just ungroup that for a sec. If I drag this over here, well, everything just looks bad because there's no white background. We need that white background in order for everything to look good. So. Um, add this uh, media generator, solid color, white, drag drop here, kind of move it out a little two more seconds. And uh, now we're getting into fades. Um, go to transitions, linear wipe, top down, hard edge. Well, it actually doesn't really need to be hard edge. We just want top down. And I give it to the map productions, uh, the beginning of map productions. And our settings for that. Um, Feathered it out to 0.842 at the angle of 90 degrees. That's important. It has to be up. Well, actually, no. Scratch that. It doesn't have to be important. You can uh, fade this on however you want to. I'm just showing you what I did. But I faded that on. And then we needed this to be a little shorter in length um, in order for it to fade on properly. Because I'll show you if it was over here, it would fade on just like that, which doesn't really look good. So we are going to control Z put that back where it was um, just do a little opacity fade lining up with the end of this so just click the end of this uh, linear wipe and uh, opacity fade which is drag click the corner when you see this little quarter circle and drag over now go to uh, barn door go to your vertical in um, don't want a border whoops let me just zoom in. All right, go to your uh, effects for the uh, barn door transition. And uh, I feathered it to 0.775, and I made it white. It's important that it's white. Otherwise, it'll, uh, it'll look like this. That There's, like, black bars there. That doesn't look good. Um, so we just want to fade it like that, make sure it's white. Um, and then I lined up the opacity fade from this top thing again down here and then I crossfaded it here or I mean uh, opacity fade here um, so that's it uh, just remember you can change whatever you want colors uh, font heck you can even change this text if you want I mean I don't know why you want to map production is pretty cool <laughs> but uh, no you can change it to whatever you want um, alright so this uh, this has been fun remember to subscribe rate comment uh, like thumbs up whatever it's called <laughs> Um, Alright, so uh, this has been Matt from Matt Productions. I'll see you next time.